Is it a scam? Is it free? What is it? Hey guys, my name is Paul with Sunset OLT. If this is your first time here, welcome. Please subscribe so don't miss any of our next videos. Our main goal here is to help you keep more of your own money in your pocket, the earning app. So what is the earning app and why are we talking about it? Well, let's just call it what it is. It's just another cash advance pay to lender. And how does it work? Basically, it's an app that everyone can download either to Android or iOS. You create a profile and give the company access to your checking account, upload a copy of your timesheet or give the company access to your company online timesheet system. And get this, the app also use location tracking on your phone to verify when you go to work or not. And the daily limit you can get is $100 per day or $500 per pay period. The app claims that it's free to use, but you can tape between zero and $14 each time you use it. The app get the money back on payday with the fee or so-called tape from your account. They also have a feature called balance shield for overdraft fee. You can use for free for the first time, but every time you activate it, it's $1.50. But if you go in with the reviews about this app, the main complaints are overdraft fees. And, and in my opinion, this app is even worse than a payday lender. Imagine that you borrow against your next payday because you don't have enough money to cover your expenses and on top of that are a couple overdraft fees. So this is guaranteed to ruin your relationship with your bank where in some cases you won't be able to even open an account. Once you get your relationship ruined with your financial institution with those overdraft fees, it's almost impossible for you to open a different account with, a, with, a, with the same bank or a different bank. Our goal is to help you keep more of your own money in your pocket and so there is no way in hell we can recommend this app to anyone. Let's say you use this app and tip them just $10 a week. Let's do a quick calculation. That's $10 times four, that's 40 times 12. That's $480. That's $480 you could have saved. Just manage your money a little better. Money has to be managed, knowing what's coming in and what's going out. It's never about how much you earn and how much you spend. It's all about money management. The first step is knowing your expenses now and cutting out the non-essentials. Knowing how much is rent, mortgage, car payment, debt. You know the ad for this app is a guy trying to borrow money to go on a date. <laughs> Let me tell you something, if you have to borrow money to go on a date, a date should be the less of your worries right now. You should try your best to save something. It doesn't matter how much it is, a week, a month, $10, $20. The best way to do that is to get your bank to do it for you where you don't even see that money. It doesn't matter if it's 10, 5, 10, 15, 25, 30, 50 dollars. Weekly, monthly, get your bank to do it automatically where you don't even see that money. Transfer to a saving account. This is the best way possible for you to start building your emergency fund. And instead of using one of those services, try to earn whatever you can on the side, for example, Uber or Lyft on your free time or those uh, food delivery services because using these services will make it harder and harder for you. And then the more you use those services, it's harder for you to get out and the deeper, deeper you're, digging your, you're digging yourself into that hole. You have to create a budget and stick with it. Mint that come has some great free tools to help you manage your budget. I would suggest you check them out. And again, guys, as always, thank you for watching. Please drop a comment below and give us a thumbs up to keep that conversation going. Subscribe so you don't miss any of our next videos. Peace.